This is Finextra at Cybus, and I'm here today on the Clear to Pay stand. Mark, why do you think it is that banks have lost ground in mobile financial services, particularly payments, to scheme operators and telcos? I think it's simply that they've got too much going on. I think they, there's a lot of regulation um, uh, that's driving them to do uh, things that are perhaps more high priority to them. But I think that means that they are losing ground to those organisations that you mentioned, but I think they're also losing ground to the, uh, to the new entrants as well. Clear to Pay is invested in developing a new product called Vivo Mobile Wallet for banks. Can you tell me a little bit about it and why it's different? Yeah, it's a, a very different proposition. I think most of the wallets out there are uh, being pushed by the handset providers or the likes of Visa and MasterCard or indeed um, or PayPal. And those are very much disintermediary for the banks. Um, what we've launched is something that is effectively an extension of the core banking system. So the wallet actually resides from behind the bank's uh, infrastructure. And what will this mean for the products that banks are able to use to engage with their customers? Well, what, the, uh, what it does is it transforms the bank account into something that stores more than uh, money. It's, it can store things like vouchers, coupons, uh, in, in fact any type of value and it allows the customer to actually transact with that value. So you can do partial transactions with money uh, and partially with loyalty points. So it gives the, uh, the, uh, the bank the opportunity to re-engage with its customers, which in this case will be merchants and consumers and to become the facilitator of commerce between those two organisations. Most mobile wallets to date have been aimed firmly at the retail consumer. Is there any scope within this product for banks to think beyond this? Absolutely, yeah. It's, uh, Viva is effectively a, a, a set of virtual accounts. So you can have virtual accounts that are, are aimed at uh, corporate customers such as asset management, uh, pension companies, real estate agents, anything that allows uh, client money uh, uh, operations for the bank to offer to their customers uh, as a service.